So before we get into this uh, this announcement that eBay has made, if you're an eBay seller and you like your content about selling on eBay, go down there and hit that uh, subscribe button. And hit that bell notification so you'll know when I put out new content. So let's get into it. So if you're an eBay seller and you sell items, obviously you have to put your customer's address onto your item that you're shipping out. Whether it's a box, it's a padded mailer, it's just a regular mailer, whatever, you've got to get the item to your customer. So there's several options you have currently. You can handwrite the items, and if you're selling a large, you, there's a handwrite the address. And if you've got a large number of items going out, that is a, that's a lot of work. Uh, another option is to use a laser printer, an inkjet printer, a type of printer, and print the label on just regular paper, regular, regular copy paper, cut it out, tape it on your box, tape it on your mailer, etc. Still a good bit of work, but I know a lot of people that do that. There's not a problem with doing that. Some people do that um, just because that's the way they've always done it. Another option is to get a thermal printer. A thermal printer doesn't use toner. It doesn't use ink. The thermal printer actually burns the the what you're trying to print onto a paper that accepts that. And uh, you buy labels. They're usually continuous feed. You can uh, you can print those out, pre-stick labels. You th slap them on your uh, your package, your box, your bag, whatever you're shipping in, and you're done. Um, that's your Rolos, your Dymos. Um, I actually use a Brother um, printer, which has been very good to me. Uh, great investments. They save a lot of time. If you are cutting out labels and you want to save time and save money on toner or ink, consider getting one of those. Um, but eBay has now announced a, a way where you don't even have to print that label. Uh, I don't know if they're trying to uh, take some of the path that, that Amazon does. Amazon on returns gives you a QR code. So that's the... Uh, that's what they've, they've announced. They're now going to allow you to, instead of printing a label, you're going to receive a QR code. No, this is not, I don't want to scare anybody, this is not for every item that you ship out. You have the ability to select this as an option. I know people that, some people don't have printers. Some people are working only off their phones. I think this will help solve some problems for some smaller sellers. Um, I don't know if this is a viable option for people that are shipping out 20, 30 items a day. Um, but what happens is when you go in, you sell your item, you go in and just like you would print a normal uh, shipping label, if you're printing labels, you can go in and request a, a QR code, just like you would a label. You see the QR code right there on that little uh, that phone screen there. And that a QR code is nothing more than a way for someone to scan it and it takes you to a website. And uh, what this is doing is going to take, you, you You sell your item, say you've got three items going out today, you're going to get a QR code, print out your shipping label, you're going to still have to enter your shipping information, your dimensions, your weight, etc. The type of uh, label you want, how you want to ship it, do you ship in first class, are you shipping priority mail, etc. And once you do that, just like you would normally do that and print your label, now you're just going to get an, an email or in your app you're going to see a QR code. And what that's going to do is you're going to take that item. The easiest way to do it if you've got multiple items going out that day is to write a small note on the top of the box like a lot of people do that you see in videos. And you're going to take that to your carrier, whether that's USPS, FedEx, um, whoever, however you're shipping that, UPS. Um, and you're going to hand them the phone or hand the printout of that QR code. Show it to them. They're going to print out the label. They're going to slap it on the box for you. Um, I know this is the way that Amazon handles returns. If you've ever bought something from Amazon, um, and you've had to return it. There's a several types of returns that Amazon does. You can either do a, where you download a label, you print it out, or you can do the same type thing, a QR code where you go to UPS and uh, and they scan it. Let me read all this real quick. It says, you don't need a printer to ship like a pro. Now you can access to shipping, you have, get access to shipping savings with eBay labels from the convenience of your personal device. The QR code will automatically email to you once you purchase the label, and you can download it. Um, it just outlines all the information on how you can do this. Go to your sold listing on eBay like I was talking about and generate the label. You have to select QR code under the shipping label format and then purchase and print. And it's automatically emailed to you. Um, then all you got to do is open that on your phone to access the QR code, hand it to your nearest carrier drop-off location, offering print in store. So that might be a key there. I don't know if this is available everywhere. I haven't seen any, a whole lot of information about this. I just got this uh, the notification 
yesterday about this. Um, so I, one thing I'll need to look into is 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 this limited? Uh, is this service limited to certain locations? Is it only going to be UPS? Because I know UPS will do it for Amazon. Can you go up to USPS? I don't know. I will definitely be finding out. And all you do is just hand walk up with that and handle it. Um, don't know if this will help anybody or not. But if you uh, if you don't sell a lot, you don't ship a lot. This may save you some time, save you some money if you if you're printing out labels. Uh, hope you like this information. If you do, go ahead and hit that like button down there. And if you're not subscribed by now, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification when you see no, so you'll make sure you know when uh, new content comes out. I appreciate you watching, and have a great day.